Okay, accident or not, I've killed so many people at this point, I have to be changing the course of history. I've mostly been killing soldiers though, and they're not as likely to change history unless it's a really decisive battle. Or maybe if they're smart and go on to do important things later in life, but no, there's no risk of that. I haven't killed any smart ones. Okay, is this really locked solid? No, I think these joints are loose. Yeah, yeah, I just have to work this year. I can pry it open. Ah! There's a reason that door's locked! Fucking bees? Is that all this is? I'm not allergic to bees, assholes! And they die on impact! They don't even swarm! Are they toxic? I don't think so. Earth bees are more hardcore than space bees. I guess the conventional wisdom is true. Okay, everybody settle down! Did you say something? You need to speak up! What? Shoot you! Sure, I could do that! Is that enough? Okay, I'll keep it coming! How about now? Is that good? Hello? Yeah, I think that's good. They would let me know if there was a problem. Well, I've got to say, the soldiers picked the right spot for building a gunner's nest. I'm starting to think the teleportation isn't so random. I don't know, it's just a hunch I have. Jesus, how many was that? 20? Well, it's a total waste. We need to be moving in here with rubber suits and hooking these guys up to a power plant. Maybe I could come back here and capture one. Use it to power a cabin. I could really live off the grid then. Okay, this way is not happening. Hey, what is this pink volcano anyway? It looks like the asphalt has cancer. Okay, good. That means the earth isn't alive. Oh god! No! I'm not a lotto ball! The last time I got juggled through the air it was horrible! You're the reason we have napalm! There's no excuse for being what you are! Oh no. Oh, they're fighting each other! Wow. This must be what? The second time now? You know, maybe it's even the third. And bullets win again. Who would have thought? Hey, you're the winner! You won! Oh! And you too! It was a team effort! Everybody wins! Especially me. Hey, I just realized if a soldier assassinated somebody important, they could also change the timeline that way. But if they can't get past me, can they really get past Secret Service or private security? Their targets won't be blaze orange like me. But does the universe really care about our timeline anyway? I think we're giving ourselves a bit much credit here. Shit. Stop, stop. Well, maybe. If Booth hadn't shot Lincoln, this might not be happening. No, no, no! So, uh, case in point, since we know there's extraterrestrial life now, I mean, statistically, there's probably billions of worlds with life. So we could blow up our own planet on this timeline and the universe doesn't really care. I spaced out again, didn't I? Hey, how you doing? I'm from maintenance. I heard you have some trouble with the ventilation in here. I don't think they believed me. Well, it's hard to think of excuses when people are shooting at you inside a ventilation shaft. I had the same problem in high school. <laughs> Holy crap! What the fuck just happened there? I opened the door and they tossed in the explosives immediately, before they even saw me, especially with the sun outside. How did they know it wasn't a wounded soldier exiting? 
I guess they just didn't give a shit, which seems to be the answer to everything the military does. Hey, is this... It's just a big button. Step right up. This is amazing. Loud. Okay, guys, I think that's enough. I don't know how many shells are in this thing. Okay, so we have some more dead people. But we've established that I can murder an unlimited number of people and the universe won't be affected in any measurable way. I'm definitely affecting the human timeline though, but again, how much? Because say one of these guys will invent a quantum communicator and I just shot him. Was he really our only hope? In terms of probability, won't some other guy in Australia just invent a quantum communicator three years later? Oh, good. Good, 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 good. Carry on. I'm just an impartial observer. Pretend I'm not even here. I'm very impressed with how things are proceeding. I'll have good things to say in my report. Hey, I said pretend I'm not even here! Okay, well, this guy is gonna cost you a few points, but other than that, very high marks. When I file the... Hey, you're late! You think I don't see that? This is going in my report. There, I punched your time card for you. Now get back to work. Maybe I'm not as impartial as I think I am. Wait a minute, I have to be. I don't even know what's going on. You know, for this not being my fight, an awful lot of people want to kill me. Or not just me. Everybody wants to kill everybody, except me wanting to- Ah, fuck it. I'm so confused. This is kind of like shotgun chess, where I need to kill them in the right order. Or else... See, I did it wrong. Okay, check. Damn it! I didn't see the bishop! I don't like chess! See, the problem with chess is it all comes down to who can think more moves ahead, and not in a clever way. You could be Einstein or Tesla, but you're always going to lose to that psycho who memorizes board positions and can remember 50 moves in his head. Whoa. Computers can beat us in chess because it's a game meant for computers. I don't like games that are about who can memorize the most crap, because that's what it is. It's not like memorizing chemical bonds in the periodic table, which has a shitload of applications. Memorizing chess plays are only about moving pieces around to feel smug about it. Hmm, I guess that's why it's so popular. Well, speaking of stalemates, I'm kind of undecided about who to be shooting here. Oh! Besides you! No. Because let's face it, I want the soldiers and aliens to just kill each other. Or more specifically, stop shooting me. Now if I had to choose, the knee-jerk reaction would be I want the soldiers to win. But do I really? The aliens mostly just use bees and electric shocks. And while that's really fucking annoying and painful, it's not bullets. Plus, if the soldiers win, I still lose. I'm a fugitive. Okay, I don't know where I'm going. Uh... Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to consort with the dark powers here because I'm out of ideas. <laughs> okay, thank you, oh dark ones, I pay homage. Now where's that straggler? He's upsetting the delicate balance of not being dead. Yep, more bees. Yep. You think you're the scariest person that's followed me? Okay, here, I have an idea. Why don't you go and take a look at shit? No, don't look at that. That's... Well, I can't just walk away. He's seen me. That means I'm going to wake up three days from now with him standing over me in my motel room. There, that should give him something to think about. Yeah, see, if the aliens win, not only would the charges against me be forgotten, but they're not too bright. Their most devastating weapon is being able to teleport anywhere. And they're not using that anywhere near its potential. What is this? <sighs> so this weird tunnel goes to something... F uh... Uh... <laughs> ah! <sighs> okay, I refuse to believe that is the only purpose of this horizontal pipe with a small pool. Oh, shit. Oh, 
Oh, man. Well, at least they didn't tell me to put that in my pipe and smoke it. <laughs> 